And that's what it looks like. It's burning strongly and warming up our water. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you how to make your very own DIY solid fuel cubes for your Esbit stove. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, you need some golf wax. And I do apologize, my hands are a little sooty. <laughs> next, you want to get some of this Coakland's fire paste. The next item is a bag of sawdust, and I just got this from using my table saw. I cleaned it up off the garage floor. You're going to want to get some petroleum jelly and some of these jumbo cotton balls. Make sure they're hundred percent cotton. That's very important. The other items you're going to need is a half cup measuring device, a can that you can put all of the melted contents into and stir up and then I made a pour spout just by squeezing it so that I could pour it out. And then you're going to want a silicon mold. Now this one I bought at the Salvation Army uh, real cheap. I paid a couple of dollars for it. It is made by Wilton and these are one half by one half by half inch deep cubes. So what we used for this particular concoction that I put together was one cup of Gulf wax melted and of course you want to use a double boiler for this. I put in a half a cup packed of sawdust, one half cup of petroleum jelly, and one half cup of Coglin's fire paste. Now I went ahead and added the cotton balls and I tried it both ways to see which would work the best. So I stirred them up really good and I took the cotton balls out. I just used a pair of chopsticks. When that was thoroughly mixed up, I poured them into the mold and then I set them aside to let them thoroughly cool and harden. And once they harden up, you can easily just pop them right out of the mold, just push in from the bottom, they pull out very easily. And then I wrap them in aluminum foil. And the aluminum foil needs to be about four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches to completely cover it. And the reason you want the aluminum foil is because when you put it in your burner, you want to make a bit of a cup of the aluminum foil so that the hot wax, when it starts to melt, it doesn't drip down through the burner holes of your little stove. So that's very important why you want to put everything in aluminum foil. And then you want to put it in a Ziploc bag. That will help keep everything from making a mess in your pack if it's hot in the summertime or uh, it also keeps it from evaporating because some of the products in here will evaporate eventually so you need to make sure that you protect it from that. So a few things about these little squares. They weigh a half an ounce and completely wrapped in aluminum foil. Without the cotton balls they burn for just a little over eight minutes. With the cotton balls I got over 16 minutes of burn time. So the cotton balls are definitely the way to go for extended burn. I got two cups of water to really good bubbles in about seven minutes and it took a little bit longer than that to get to a rolling boil and I was doing that without a lid so if you had a lid on the cup it would boil much faster. To use it you simply unwrap the aluminum foil just like this. Of course trying to maintain your little cup status there. You just want to Expose the top of this and then fit it down inside just like that. To light it, we just strike the match and hold it down here by the side, one of the corners. Now you can just lay it on top if you wish. Of course you have to protect it from the wind and the best way to do that is with some sort of a windscreen. Alright, now that it's going real good, Go ahead and put our windscreen around it, just a piece of aluminum foil. And then we want to go ahead and set the cup on top. And there you go, we have a really good solid fuel cube that will burn for a good 15 to 16 minutes. Really strong flame for about 14 minutes. And it will heat up your food, it will boil your water. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. 
And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.